up welcome to pro mixing a master room today i'm gonna teach you and show you how to mix best afro vocals ever just like this na, na. Oh, na, na, na. Oh, na, na, na. you want you a champion 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 realize where you're from realize where you are realize where you go you want you a champion my bad just a million up one is I believe in a cheating, come on your work, but you know what it doesn't matter what's against you. As long as God is with you, as long as God is with you, so are your family for Girl, you're a champion, man, you're a champion, boy, you're a champion, man, you're a champion, yeah, you're a champion. You want you a champion, you want you a champion. You want you a champion, you want you a champion, champion. You want you a champion, you want you a champion, you want you a champion, you want you a champion. Don't look back. So the first thing that you start with is instrumental. Make sure you mix your instrumental very well. I made this instrumental in uh FL Studio, so I made sure that I balanced the instrumental. Once you balance your instrumental, the vocals are just gonna follow up, are gonna be easier for you to mix. So once I was done with the uh, instrumental, I exported it uh, in a web format, and of course the um, uh, the tempo of the instrumental has to match also in uh, Cubase uh, five. So you make sure that the tempo you the the tempo of the beat also matches, so that all the plugins can also play in tempo or play in time. So once I was done with that, then I went ahead and started recording. Recording usually uh I put uh stereo in on the on on your stereo input, uh on your insert put a compressor. Just leave it on default. All right, it's just gonna help your vocals to like uh be recorded properly, and also your vocals are just gonna be a little bit consistent. Okay, so once I was done with compression, and I was done with uh recording, then I had to start adding in uh plugins and the first plugin that i put on the vocals is called autotune na na oh na 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 oh na 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 so that is autotune right there and i am using autotune 8.1 now there are these four points that i use uh in autotune i do not use the rest of the autotune just these four points can really give you the results that you want so what are these points your key select the right key all right so i selected my right key scale select your right scale if you if your instrumental played in minor put it in minor if it played in major put it in major tracking i said i always set my tracking on 50 half all right half is just gonna do you well then soprano soprano always works for me all the time so unless if you want to change to auto tenor low male instrumental but this is for instrument this one is for the bass and this one is auto tenor but i usually set mine on soprano soprano always gives me the best results from there come to your return speed your return speed is uh sets how fast you want the auto tune to sound or how slow you want more or less of auto tune with me i have set it on three three is more like a little bit of natural and more of auto tune okay uh combination of that it just gives you that you know beautiful uh, afro style if i can put it in that way then once i'm done with return speed i normally uh use uh i don't normally use humanize you can use humanize if you want to when you want to add a little bit of that natural uh uh sound to your vocal but with me my humanize is set to zero don't mess around with uh, creating vibrato because I've seen a lot of producers trying to play around with vibrato and this is why the autotune sounds really shaky and really really bad so whenever you don't want your uh, 
uh, auto tune to sound shaky and bad and out of uh, uh, key, make sure you stay away from cre creating vibrato, uh, throat length, and transpose scale detune. Unless if you know what you are doing, but with me these points really give uh, get me the results that I normally uh, want to get. So once I was done with auto tune, I connected my uh, track to what is called a group channel track. My group, the, I created group one, group two. Group one is for my verse, and group two is for my chorus. So there is a uh, verse and chorus. Oh, no, no. So my chorus is connected to group number one. So let's go ahead and check out group number one. This is group number one. Open it up, and the first plugin that you add to your Afro vocals is SL SS. LG channel stereo from Waves. This is like uh, also a dynamic plugin. It just gives you the sound, that Afro sound that you're looking for. You want you a champion? You want you a champion? See what it is doing. This this is why I put it on the first like. Uh, insert one why because this is like gonna give me my this is gonna be like my main plugin so you set this as your main plugin like your main that is just gonna give you that sound as you can see I'm using our uh, filters and I'm using uh, a low filter right here to uh, clean up that low and just a little bit that low rumble whenever you want to clean up your uh, vocals just come to this one right here and use a low filter to just filter it up a little bit your vocals are gonna sound cleaner now what i'm gonna do next is turn off uh this dynamic uh plugin and also turn off auto tune so you guys can take a listen to how the vocal sounds like without any plugin uh on A little bit low and also without uh, the dynamic plugin and auto tune sounds uh, doesn't really sound nice. So turn on auto tune without the dynamic plugin. <laughs> sounds much better. Now I'm I'm gonna turn on um, SSL channel stereo just to add air and just to dynamically control the vocal. <laughs> Even though the vocal is not lifted up uh, in volume, you can uh, hear that shimmer in the background that this uh, plugin is really doing a great job into shaping up uh, the way the Afro, the way Afro vocals uh, sound. So make sure you turn on uh, filter dynamic section. So you just turn it on. Whenever you turn it on, it uh, turns yellow. So this. Uh, shows that you can control your dynamics from all this to this place right here and I am using ratio my ratio is 2.7 just a little bit of that and then threshold is on zero negative 0 0.8 just a little bit of that and then compression is on 0 0.40 just a little bit we do not want to compress the vocals too much and now our next plugin is gonna be compressor. It is my favorite compressor when it comes to adding volume to your vocals and literally like even compressing your vocal. This is like my all-in-one like DS side has DE side has uh soft knee just whatever that I wanna use it for. I can use this compressor. So now let me uh play. Realize where you go. Even you a champion. It doesn't matter what's against you. Beautiful. So this is like adding more volume and of course doing compression to my vocal. So I'm using this as a compressor and also as a volume so uh plugin and it's really like you guys can like tell the difference. The volume just got out just like that so my ratio is on 16 uh, to 1 and my uh, threshold is on negative 12.5 my release is on 227 my attack is on 50 beautiful and my DSR is there is a little bit of DSing where the S's are just a little bit of that now the next one is 
another EQ from the SSLG channel stereo dynamically, but I'm, all, I'm using now this EQ to surgically like uh, boost up and also cut off certain frequencies. So this is uh, the EQ that I'm using. Any EQ that you have can really work out for you. Realize where you are, realize where you go, even you a champion. So this EQ is really helping me to like shape up the vocal the way I want my vocal to be. I wanted a little bit of that uh, uh, low end, so I boosted it up, which is around uh, 82 hertz. I boosted up right here and then also dynamically turned it to a dynamic EQ where I like set it to, to the mid side. Now after boosting that place, I cut around 1k just to remove this annoying frequency, sharp frequencies. So and once I was done with that, another compressor from Cubase and this time I'm controlling everything, one, two, three, I'm controlling everything just to make sure that the vocal is consistent and to make sure that the vocals are not sharp so as you can see there is a little bit of that compression going on compression of two uh ratio two threshold of negative 20. makeup gain is on auto and my hold is zero release 401 analysis 80 percent and attack is on 1.0 and then next another EQ and this time I am cutting off a little bit of that low end just a little bit of it as you can see and then boosting up around 300 and then also boosting up around 500 and also boosting up around 1470 hertz why did I do this let me let me do this this frequency right here helps your vocal to cut through. So I wanted the vocal to have a little bit of that bell effect, just like the Afro, any uh, professional Afro, Afro tune. There is just this that they add to the vocals in order for vocals to like cut through a little bit. So this is a little trick right there. And then the next EQ is GEQ30 from Cubase, raised up 20k and 16k, 20k, this EQ has this beautiful 20k like analog type of EQ and then around 16k, uh, it really like gives you, gives your vocals that shimmer and that beautiful uh, high end, so this is why these are lifted up and then resonant, you have to come to resonant and then around 200 hertz gave body to the vocals again lifted up this is like the sweet spot especially when you want to like uh have that beautiful round body you just have to come around uh 200 and lift it up your vocals are really gonna sound great and now my final plugin is X Noise Stereo, just to remove slight floor noise and background noise. And there's just a character this adds to your vocal. Removes some of those that are found due to raising the highs and warms them up. I usually balance my vocals with compressors and EQs. Normally, coming here like this, is vo my volume, vocal volume is zero dB, so I normally use compressor DE, so just to raise the volume. But there's something beautiful that I want to show you in order for your vocals to really sound the way uh, they are sounding so sweet. There is something that I did when you double click on the vocal, you come to var audio. I did a work with the vocals. I did work with the vocals, of course. Some of those vocals that needed a little bit of stretching, I stretched them just a little bit so that they can sound nice with auto tune. Just come to the vocal, which is off key, put it back into key and then highlight it and then come to straighten. You straighten it up a little bit. They just really, 
sound nice when you stretch them up a little bit but so guys this is how you uh, mix best afro vocals ever in cubase 5 i'll see you in the next one <laughs>